Okay, welcome back. We're going to be getting on with the third beer from Madison's. Uh, great stuff. This is the Madison's Brewing Company. Now that's what I call hops too. Yes. And it's brewed with Nelson Savion. Is it Savion? Or? Well, we always like debate over how to pronounce it. I think it's Nelson Sovin. Sovin. Okay. Um, but some people call it Nelson Savon. Savon. Yeah. Whatever. And it is brewed with uh, these these hops. Yeah. From, from New Zealand. From New Zealand, they're yeah. From yeah. New Zealand. So I, I think they're from the same region as the uh, the grapes that they used in uh, ah, some of your blood right. Wines. I um, see. You certainly get that similar sort of aroma. Without further ado, yeah. let's get this beer open. Ladies first. Oh, that looks really crisp. Look at that. A nice pale looking look yeah. about it. I think yours is going to be a bit cloudier with all the uh, yeah. agitation. It is a bottle conditioned beer. If you're watching and wondering what a bottle conditioned beer is, if you come across this for the first time, basically the brewer puts sediment in. Uh, in the bottom of the bottle to help flavour the beer over time. You can kind of you can kind of age it for six months, would you say, if you yeah. if you wanted to. I mean, if you wanted to. as is because some some breweries will actually add the sediment in, right? Um, because all the yeast will have been removed yeah. in conditioning tanks. But because we do have we bottle ours from the cask, yeah. then it's still got the yeast in it. So we just give it a bit of a mix round before we bottle it, so that you, you get plenty of yeast still in the bottle, and then it, it settles out. But you, you do get occasionally a bit of a suspension. This reminds me of the station best bit. I, I do actually love the look of the tiny little particles of yeast which is in the glass. I do actually love that look. Yeah. Um, let's get the nose. Now I've not tried a Nelson Sauvignon from a bottle, and this seems to be very, very powerful. I'm trying it from a cask, this is much. This is what, what we've tended to find, especially with our single hot beers, is that if, when you bottle it from a cask, you get a, a better hot flavour. It's a really good way of, of getting a sense of what the hot smells like, what it yeah. tastes like, more so than you sometimes get if, if you've had it in a pub. Um, and I think sometimes when the if the if the bottles get sent away and, and it, it gets pasteurised and yeah. things, you, you do lose an element of flavour. But because we know it's all it's all straight from the cask, and we, but it's it's in that small little bottle, and it's yeah. it's, it's had extra it's had a bit of secondary fermentation going on because it's had a couple of weeks in the warm room as I well. See. So it, there's something still going on there. Without further ado, I've got to get into this. It's a fantastic. One. It's like somebody scraped a grapefruit down the back of your neck. Yeah, it makes you want to breathe in and take, mm, take, take yeah. it all back to you. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, that, that, is, that is absolutely smashing. I'm loving the look. Oh, it's brewed with lager malt. Oh, we, we tend to find, if, especially with some of the single hot beers, if you want the, the flavour of the hot to come out, yeah. to, to brew it with as pale a malt as possible, so you don't get, so, so in a way the malt doesn't interrupt the flavour of the hops, it's just getting a real... Is this your favourite beer from the Madison's range? Um, I think this one and Citra. Um, Which we'll do soon. Yeah, 
I mean, we, we, we haven't had chance to use Nels so much because we, we couldn't get it for ages. We couldn't get it for about nine months. Ah, oh, right. Um, we bought about a year's Yes. <laughs> 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 so it's a very, it's it's a is it a new kind of hop which is massively fashionable? If I can use that word, fashionable. Um, I'd say it was really fashionable a few years ago. Right. It's 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 been overtaken now because it's. I mean, last year everyone was raving about Citroen. Yeah. Um, yeah. This year people are talking about Galaxian. And, I'll try that. Um, and there's another new one that's come out. Something with an X on the end. Um, I watched a, a pop sign review just this yeah. morning, and it was sitting um, a, a brewed up beer. He said it was a new type of hop with an X. Something with an X on the end. Anyway, yeah. back to this. Back to this beer. I I'm going to ask you for a rating. I know <laughs> I know you work for the company, and and but an honest an honest rating. It is, it, I'm not. I mean, sometimes I wish I had smell of vision with this mm. with this camera. What, what's your honest opinion? Of this beer? It's it's one of my favourite bottles that we do. This is Citra. Um, I, it's really hard to, to rate your own beer because you, you can't you can't quantify it. Yes. Yeah. I'd put it at the top end for, for out of our beers. Yeah. I'd, I'd put it at. A, Probably about an eight. I mean, there's one that we do called Danger Hops, and that from the bottle is, is fantastic. Ah. And so that one, it, it's, it's got a, it's a stronger beer, and it, you've got a huge hop aroma and a flavour yeah. to it as well. So I'd, I'd probably rank that a bit higher. But this is certainly one of my favourites. So. Well, I think I'm going to trump you on this. I think I'm going to say a nine. I'm going to give this a big nine out of ten because it is so flavourful. I think you wouldn't be able to pull every single flavour out of this beer in one bottle. I think it would take two bottles over two separate evenings to sit, pour it out, and just just try and pull out all the complex flavours. Um, thanks for watching again. Um, next review will be over at Magic Rock, uh, Wasp there, uh, Magic Rock Brewing, and then we're going to be joined by Elaine and the, and the crew over at a few pubs where their beers are going to be served later on. So check out the reviews in the future. Cheers. Thank you. Hello again. Welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guide. I am at Madison's Brewing Company. And I had a wander in their storeroom and come across this, which is their oatmeal stout. Now, I have been after an oatmeal stout for such a long time to review. It's... 4.6% ABV, it's bottle conditioned and it's brewed right here in the heart of Huddersfield. Okay, let's get it open. Let's give it a pour. Look at that. It's really, really dark. Can't see anything through it. One finger head. Off. It's an off white, kind of caramel looking head. Just give it a whirl. I like to give the beer a good whirl to get the nose. And wow. Wow, it's. It's got the smell of a. Of a the roasted. The roasted malt, but then. Kind of get citrus as well from the hops. Let's give it a taste. Oh wow! And the initial hit is fruity straight away. It's a very very fruity. Citrus, citrusy taste, and then it gets completely taken away with the the dark roasted chocolate. Really, it's got, got a really good burn finish to it as well. Let's get the nose again. Oh, 
this this coffee, this this like a, a caramel, that really not like a dark chocolate coffee caramel. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Nice and cool as well. This is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's in a nice pint bottle. It's to be, it's to be served between ten and fourteen degrees. Time for the rating. I've waited, as I said, I've waited a long time to taste an oatmeal stout. This one is, is, is great, absolutely great. I can't get over the, the, the hoppiness with the mixed malts, the, the mixed dark malts, plus, which give off a, a taste of caramel, as I say, chocolate, coffee. So for me, this gets a very solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the Weird Out Guide. If you want to get in contact with Malinson's, their website is www.drinkmalinson's.co.uk and they're based in Lindsay, in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. Be sure to check them out. Join me for a Nelson Sauvignon review. Of a, is it a brand new Malison's beer? Uh, no, it's, it's been done before. It's, it's been uh, done before. Yeah. Check that out in the, in the next review. Thanks for watching again. Cheers. <laughs>